Hello everyone, this is Harsha. Welcome to my channel Crypto English. So hi guys, in today's video we will talk about flash loans because recently I made a video about Beanstalk exploit. In this video, I, in that video I explained how Beanstalk was exploited with the help of flash loan. So in this video I got couple of requests about flash loan. So in this video we will talk everything about flash loan, what is flash loan, how you can use it and how you can take a flash loan without any coding. So everything will be covered in this video. Watch this video till then. Before starting the video, if you are here for the first time, subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, click the like button. If you have any doubts or clarification, leave them in the comment section below. And this video like that is 200 likes, so definitely click the like button right away. So let's begin the video, guys. So first thing, what is flash loan? So flash loan, if you are not aware of crypto loans, if you want to take any loan, you should put some amount of collateral. So only after collateral, you will be able to borrow the loan. So but in flash loans, you don't have to keep any collateral. You can borrow the uh, any num any amount of funds, but you need to repay the loan within the same blockchain transaction. So this is a simple example. If you are taking any flash loan, there is one major condition. First is in the same blockchain transaction, you have to borrow and you need to repay the loan with small amount of fees. So and second thing is in between a flash loan, if there are multiple set of transaction, if any of the transaction get failed, then the entire flash loan transaction will not happen. So these are the two major things in the uh, flash loan scenario. So in this example, I will show you how you can use fur combo platform and without taking uh, without any coding, how you can take flash loan and uh, you can use this flash loan techniques. So first thing, yeah, this particular Farukama platform supports currently two blockchains. One is Polygon and Ethereum. You can select the chain and then you can connect the wallet and you will see this cube icon here. So if you click on plus button, you will be adding a transaction here. So just click on. Uh, now you can see I have only around eight Matic tokens in the wallet. So I just click on plus. Then you will see multiple options from multiple platforms available. So in this example, we are using Aave's flash loan. So just click on flash loan. So it will already all automatically show you the pop up. Here you have to select the token which you want to borrow. So here you just enter wrap Matic. So once you select that here, you have to enter the amount of Matic you want to borrow just 100 and you can see here I'll be paying a fees of 0.09%. So you can see that my wallet is hardly having eight Matic tokens, but I was able to borrow 100 wrap Matic tokens. So once you click on set, this particular queues will be open. One is a flash loan open and another one is a repay with interest fees of 0.09 Rabmatic tokens. So now to add transactions in between, you can use this plus button here and you can add multiple transactions. So in this example, I'll be using two platforms, QuickSwap and Paraswap. So I can click on swap button in QuickSwap and here I can uh, enter uh, Rabmatic and then enter the amount here. So just enter 100 and then I'm converting that to die token. So once I click on set, you can see this. I took a borrow of 100 Matic so I can drag this quick swap transaction to second and now you can see between these two transactions I have this transaction and I can add one more transaction in which I will be using Paraswap. In Paraswap I will be converting back my DAI to uh, RAD Matic. So you can see the DAI token what I am receiving on the quick swap I can convert it back to the Paraswap protocol with the help of uh, this Matic. So I can just move that up so I think I selected Matic. So if you want to modify any token click on edit option. And you can change the token. I am selecting wrap token and I can click on swap set now. So now you can see I to do this transaction, I will be spending around initial funds of 0.52 uh, wrap matic tokens. And now you can see right side I have four transactions Aave borrow, quick swap swap, para swap, and then finally I am repaying the loan. So in case at any point of time the prices varies in the blockchain, so you just click on this dollar icon which will refresh the prices from different protocols. Then you can modify your uh, transaction status. So now I am doing four different transactions in a single blockchain transaction. So initi to initiate this, you can come to the bottom. There is one approve button. First thing is you have to approve the transaction. So once you click on approve and confirm, it will be successful. And then you can see the send button here. So now once you click on send, this pla platform will verify whether all these four transactions will be able to successfully uh, complete in one blockchain transaction or not. If not, that transaction will be failed. So just click on send. Now you can see this. I got an error, which means there is some error in the uh, transaction or there, there is some price difference. So now I can correct the price difference. So to do that, I can click on dollar. I can see the price chain price has been changed. So now I updated the prices and just clicked on send. So now I can see the pop up here. Once I click on confirm, my blockchain transaction will be successful. So now you can see 
I did a flash loan transaction without any coding and now you can see the batch loan transaction in metamask I can just click on that and I'll show you the explode transaction on the blockchain so you can see there are multiple transactions so you can see there are total 16 token transfer here you can see multiple transactions like from Aave I have borrowed and then I made a swap, multiple swaps in quick swap and paraswap and I repaid the loan so this is how you can take the flash loans using the Farukama platform that too without any co coding so now what are the advantages or use cases of the flash loan so there are three use cases one is the arbitrage so if there is a price difference between two swap protocols like quick swap and paraswap you can take borrow loan you can do this arbitrage and you can book some profits then second thing is a collateral swap so collateral swap is nothing but for example you have took a loan a loan uh, using ethereum on a uh, compound finance platform and you want to swap that ethereum with usdt so in this scenario what you can do is you cannot uh, replace it so in that case also you can take the help of flash loan and you can re replace the collateral in third and most useful thing about the flash loan is the self liquidation so for example let's assume you have kept a collateral of 120 dollars and you have borrowed funds of 100 dollars so now from Aave you uh, due to some price fluctuation your position is about to be liquidated but if you want to avoid the liquidation you need to pay that 100 USDT which you have borrowed so to repay the loan if you are not having the funds you can use this flash loan you can borrow that USD you can repay your loan and you can take back your collateral swap it back to the uh, uh, USDT and you can repay the loan so these are the three use cases which can be used to uh, for, with the help of flash loans and there are uh, another important uh, use case which is a crypto exploit so recently beanstalk was exploited with the help of flash loan attack so there are these are the other uh, use cases of the flash loan so now that's all guys that is all about uh, flash loan what it is and how you can use this flash loans so if you like this video click the like button if you are new to this channel subscribe to this channel if you have any doubts or clarification leave them in the comments below so that's all guys thanks for watching jai hind